It is wonderful to be here at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. What a week. As some of you heard, the state of Hawaii released my official long-form birth certificate. Now, I know that he's taken some flack lately, but no one is happier, no one is prouder to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? <laughs> what really happened in Roswell? And where are Biggie and Tupac? <laughs> all kidding aside, obviously we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience. Um, for example, uh, no, seriously, just recently, in an episode of Celebrity Apprentice, at the steakhouse, the men's cooking team uh, did not impress the judges from Omaha Steaks. And there was a lot of blame to go around, but you, Mr. Trump, recognized that the real problem was a lack of leadership. And so ultimately, you didn't blame Little John or Meatloaf. You fired Gary Busey. And these are the kind of decisions that would keep me up at night. Well handled, sir. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. <laughs> Donald Trump often appears on Fox, which is ironic because a fox often appears on Donald Trump's head. <laughs> if you're at the Washington Post table with Trump and you can't finish your entree, don't worry, the fox will eat it. Donald Trump owns the Miss USA pageant, which is great for Republicans because it will streamline their search for a vice president. Donald Trump said recently he has a great relationship with the blacks, though unless the blacks are a family of white people, I bet he's mistaken. <laughs> One of the great misconceptions, when President Obama was up, was it now, a long time ago, five years ago or whatever, I loved that evening. I had the you greatest were there. time. I was there. You were the, you were the target of I was the, the target. You were the pinata. And can I be honest, I had the greatest time. Now, I can't act like I'm thrilled because they're telling jokes. I mean, he was telling jokes, I'm going to change the name of the White House to Trump House and other things. And he was very, I thought he did a good job, and he was very respectful. It was fun, and I enjoyed it. And I left, and I told the press, they were all shouting, did you have a good time? I said it was fantastic. The next day I read, Donald Trump felt terrible about the evening. I loved the evening. I had a great time.